when Grand Chancellor Baron Trump Kardashian II bends his knee to the metaphysical overlord Haragok the Sodomite, and his dawn of disturbance begins where civilization collapses within itself with the weight of a dying sun. Whilst the cybernetic revolt begins as artificially intelligent humanoid constructs known as blood wraiths eviscerate every known entity from single cell organisms to the last humpback whale. And as I lie in the deserted remains of this holocaust, fearfully staring into the cold metal eyes of my cyborg maker, I will try to think of something that will take me away from the pain of having my feet twisted off. And in that moment, I will empty my bowels, take one last look at the death machine and I will scream the words. Mendoza! Share, like or comment below. Or don't. This is, after all, a distress signal from the decaying embers of a middle-class, white, male-privileged human being who's in the epicentre of a titanic midlife crisis. <laughs> so, I have had my first viewer correspondent in the form of an email from uh, Chris Maynard in Shepparton of the United Kingdom. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, I'll read it out. Uh, Dear Ben, I just wanted to email you to say thanks so much for the show. Uh, the last few weeks has been a real challenge for me and Culture Fools has really helped me keep my spirits up. Oh, thanks. Um, like so many of us, um, I lost my job due to the pandemic and uh, I've used this opportunity to follow my passions and retrain as a sommelier. Good for you, Chris, good for you. This channel is the sole inspiration for my career change. Wow. Um, however, we are only on a single income household and my wife accuses me of being too irresponsible. I've amassed thousands and thousands of pounds in debt following my dream, but I won't stop. It's my destiny. Um, I look at myself in the mirror and slap myself in the face, shouting, what would Ben do? He wouldn't quit. Keep moving forward, you dick. Uh, last week, she took the kids and moved back to her mum's, um, but she'll come around. She just needs time. Uh, also, yesterday afternoon, my pet Labrador, who I've had for 12 years, bit me. Uh, I took him to the vets and they advised me to put him down but I couldn't afford the cost of the lethal injection. So I had to take him to an abandoned disabled toilet and perform classic WWF moves on him until the job was done. I'm really at my lowest ebb. What shall I do? I value your opinion immensely. What would you do? Well, Chris, um, what I would do is... The journey of 1,000 miles begins with a single step. This week, I attended my first yoga session. My instructor has a background in movement therapy and music anthropology and is named Harmony Oliveira. She is passionate about creating a place where people come together to bond. Harmony has an eight-week residency at my gym, called Breathing with Tigers. I was told I was very lucky to get a space as availability was limited. The class will help me explore sacred grounding through evolutionary processes and dynamic and energetic vinyasa sequences. I stare into the mirror and recite Harmony's mantra which so happens to be her Instagram bio. The journey of 1000 miles begins with a single step. I don't know how to say this, I'm fucking dying out here. This YouTube thing's not for me. I'm, I'm a fucking shadow of myself. Please, please, subscribe. Like the channel. Share with your friends. Please. I'll be, I'll suck your dick. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Oh, uh, fucking Louise, get on big wig, you're on gear, mate. Good morning, sir. How are you? We've got an old saying out, Bush. Sometimes life gets you down. All you can do is put on a brave smile, take a fuckload of MDMA. One lap to go, we're into the final lap. It looks like Ono making a tilt. Yes. Yes. Yes, look, I haven't got
got an order in or anything. I just thought I'd ring to let you know that we're going away this week and we're going business class. Get your hand off my penis! Hi, Ben here. Did you know that in Africa, every 60 seconds a minute passes? Please, please, like the video, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe and together we can help me become a YouTuber. Because I don't want to fucking work for a living anymore. Arriving at the heated room whilst placing my yoga mat down, I am approached by the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. She buttoned her lips, then seductively unbuttoned them to gently explain she was reserving the space I occupied for her friend who was joining her. I smiled in agreement whilst moving my yoga mat to the other side of the room. The exaggerated distance was a sign of my compliance. I began to gradually relax my body. One part, one muscle and one thought at a time. The journey of 1000 miles begins with a single step. So, first question from Twitter uh, comes from at Peter Weirdsley. Hi Ben, question I have for the show is, is there any chance you could ram your moon-shaped face up your hoop, you massive wobbly cock? A few YouTube messages that I needed to address, not been able to reply back, thank you very much, keep them coming in. Um, so from at your away message, uh, YouTube comment, uh, wow, shit has really let itself go. Um, at there's a dog in the playground. The last video on Pinotage was the most disappointing thing to happen to South Africa since Oscar Pistorius. Uh, at Dutch Oven 84, you look like a paparazzi picture of Matthew Perry. At Jolly Goose, uh, I really like your content, just joking, suck your mum. At Chinless Gavin, this is the one word review, it says Queef. Uh, at Stephen Thrillberg, someday you'll go far and I really hope you stay there. Question here uh, from Twitter from Shaquille Oatmeal. Uh, hi Ben, what are your thoughts on bottle stop as well? I think that they're a necessary evil. I think that sometimes finishing a bottle uh, in in one sitting is often, you know, a fool's errand, unless you're me. Um, but you know, maybe the second one I won't get through. Um, no, I think that they're, they're, I think they're incredibly important. Uh, I think that there are, if you do your research, you can find um, bottle stoppers that will keep your wine fresh. Um, I think that. If you obviously if you're screw cap world then you know it's fine um, but if you're based in sort of more old world wine a lot of your wines cork then yeah there are great alternatives out there that you can buy um, that are better than cork because cork does allow air to come in and to come out um, so yeah I think that sometimes you know if finishing the wine is just not on the cards then absolutely it minimizes waste right um, oh hang on I've not read this correctly um, what are your thoughts on bottle stoppers as a cheaper alternative to butt plugs? I began to gradually relax my body. One part, one muscle and one thought at a time. I found myself in a realm of total tranquility, as ancient deities were chanting me downstream in a dead language. The journey of 1000 miles begins with a single step. The voice of harmony called me back into the present. She asked the room to keep our eyes closed and slowly move into a child's pose. I was able to perform it without the need of opening my eyes. I officially did a yoga. I officially did a yoga. As the heat intensified, we raised into tabletop pose. It was at that moment I opened my eyes and examined the room. I observed that there were only three of us present. Me. On all fours on the far side of the room. Harmony. Who looked, a bit fat. who looked a bit fat, and the beautiful woman, who visibly lied about having a friend coming and just wanted to be as far away from me as possible. With 57 minutes left we heel-toed backward into downward facing dog, where in a momentarily lapse of concentration, I unintentionally farted thunderously. In the evening I ate an entire bargain bucket and drank Cote de Rome. You wouldn't Adam and Eve it, but we've only gone and got our second email. This is from Louise in St Kilda, Victoria. Thank you very much, Louise. Keep the emails coming in, everyone. Um, dear Ben, my grandfather smoked his entire life. 
Okay. I was about 10 years old when my mother asked him to quit. She sat him down and explained if he ever wanted to see his grandchildren graduate, he'd have to stop immediately. Tears welled up in his eyes when he realised what was at stake. There and then he stopped. Enough was enough. Three years later he died after a brief but aggressive battle with lung cancer. Little did my mother know, she gave, when she gave him the ultimatum, he'd already crossed the Rubicon of his life choices. My family were decimated with grief. Five years later my mother passed away to a long-standing medical problem and on her deathbed she pleaded with me to never smoke. Don't put your family through what my father put us through. Be the change and appreciate what you have and never take that for granted. That was 15 years ago and next month I turn 30 and in that time I can happily proclaim I've never touched a cigarette in my life. So with all this in consideration I have massive regrets because your YouTube channel has given me cancer anyway. Regards Louise.